Hello my crafting friends. I'm coming to you with a project share video and um, I hope this doesn't um, totally bore you because it's probably going to be um, a little bit of a longer video. Um, this is a stack of cards that I've been working on. Um, like I said in the other project videos, I'm trying to get my family photo um, sent out to family and friends and it's taken me so very long. The picture was taken in September and it was going to be a holiday letter, but here it is, almost uh, spring break time, 1st of March, and I'm now just now getting them out. I got a bunch sent out already, so this is the last of them. I have three more cards to make, and it's taken me quite a long time in coloring all these images, and I, you know, I feel bad. I'm spending so much time on each card, and I know a lot of us crafters, we, we keep all our handmade cards because we know how much time and effort goes into each card, but a lot of people just read the message and throw it away. So anyway, these first um, few cards I'm going to show you and I'm going to try to put, remember to put all the links in the description below for um, where I got the images, but it's called the Digi Garden and it's on Facebook and they had some free Digi images and I think randomly every so often they have free Digi images and so that this card that you're looking at first here is one of those adorable images and I just colored her in to uh, match the papers and the papers on this card is from an old basic gray I think it's called euphoria or something like that it's like five years old and the paper pack is now finally gone yay after making all these papers and the sentiment is from my SP and company kit sunshine Emma it says hope your day is as happy as happy gets and all the pattern papers are from that basic gray pack so that's the first one and this is another digi garden image using that same basic gray paper pack and the same SP and company sentiment stamp hope your day is as happy as happy gets and I love the change of the fonts on this and it's just an adorable um, sentiment and very cute digi images so go check out the digi garden on Facebook and this is another digi garden image and this paper pack is from the die cuts with a view blossoms and butterflies paper stack and this sentiment is from Sunshine Emma SP and Company and it says have a super happy day so that's that card and then this is a La La Land Marcy and this is from that same basic gray Euphoria I believe it's called from 2008 paper pack and then I used the same Sunshine Emma hope your day is as happy as happy gets so that's that card and then this is another um, La La Land um, Marcy stamp that I colored and the background paper here is Vintage Marketplace by Basil and then I made a little banner with the same um, paper pad and it says have a super happy day so that's that card. I hope you ladies are getting the complete view of the cards. So that's that one. And then these next ones um, are from a blog called Cuddlebug Cuties. And I believe her name is Anna Stillwell. And I'll have the link um, in the information in the description box below. It's another free digital image and she has a blog and she some of her she colors in for you but then the same image she'll have a freebie underneath that's not colored so you can do your own coloring. And this is paper from the Pink Paisley um, oh, what is it? Vintage Vogue? Yeah, Vintage Vogue by Pink Paisley and then I just used some purple ribbon from my stash for that card and this is another one of the um, Anna's Cuddlebug Cuties one that was already um, colored in for you and I used my scalloped Sizzix die through my Cuddlebug and some of the same pattern paper and this is paper from the um, 
Basil Vintage Marketplace. And I stamped the sentiment, hope your day is as happy as happy gets from the Sunshine Emma stamp set. And then these um, next ones are all using SP and Company stamps. And this is that same basic gray pattern paper from five years ago, the Euphoria. And um, this is from, I believe it's In Love. Emma and she, you can make her holding different things and I had her holding the little envelope and then the sentiment says sending smiles across the miles that's a my favorite things um, tab bracket uh, die on the top there so that's that card and then this one is just really pretty plain and simple it's from that same basic gray pattern paper and it says sending smiles across the miles it's that same little In Love Emma, colored in and used foam tape to pop it up. And this is the, the newest um, Sunshine Emma. And um, I used that same basic gray pattern paper. And on this one, I paper pieced um, her dress. And so it makes it a little quicker and easier than doing a lot of Copic coloring. And it says sending smiles across the miles. And then this one here, same thing. So sending smiles across the miles and I used the pattern paper to um, do her dress so I didn't have to do as much Copic coloring. And this one is from, the pattern paper is from the Basil Vintage Marketplace and I paper pieced her dress also. It's the Sunshine Emma. It says sending smiles across the miles. So that's how that one turned out. And then this is an actual um, free digi that is um, on SP and Company's um, store. So I printed her out and colored her in. And then I made a little banner. It says sending smiles across the miles. And this also is from that same Basil Vintage Marketplace. And this is a stamp um, digital image I colored in. And this is using that same basic gray pattern paper. And this is using a Pure Innocence stamp that Enchanted Steph had stamped out and sent me. It says, have a super happy day in the banner there from my SP and Company. And this paper is from the Vintage Marketplace from Basil also. And then one more card. It's not 100% complete. It's a gorgeous girl that Enchanted Steph has sent me. Um, when I go back um, to my craft room, I need to um, ink around the edges just so it's not so stark white in some blue ink that will kind of match that. And it says, hope your day is as happy as happy gets. So that there. And then like I say, I have three more cards that I need to um, complete. And when I get those done, I will share those with you as well. So I hope this video wasn't too long and boring and that you enjoyed seeing all of my cards. And maybe I gave you some inspiration and ideas to create some cards of your own. So thank you ladies for watching and have a nice day.